A new continent has joined Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition with the African Royals expansion, adding two brand new civilizations, the Ethiopians and the Hausa. Both the Ethiopians and the Hausa have access to a new resource, Influence. Influence is hard earned through forging alliances with indigenous settlements, participating in trade, and maintaining large herds of livestock for economic security, or hosting a royal banquet. Utilizing their influence, both civilizations can recruit mercenaries, indigenous warriors, and gain foreign support for their cause. The new African civilizations advance through forging an alliance with a potential ally, rather than a politician. The Ethiopians and Hausa both have unique alliances available to them, offering technologies, buildings, and unique units such as the Arsenal Wagon or Camel Rider to complement your expanding forces, creating a formidable and unique royal army. Costing coin and wood to construct, the palace is a magnificent fortification, which can secure vast stretches of land into your sovereignty. In addition, the palace can recruit units from your alliances and unlock powerful technologies from around the world, such as devastating artillery or the versatile Gatling Camel, making it an integral addition to your empire. Similar to the palace, at the port, African civilizations can use their influence to impress mercenary captains, who command powerful seafaring vessels, gaining access to large warships with powerful broadside attacks to complement their own unique naval forces. The African civilizations do not construct a barracks or stable, but instead train their units from the war camp, a combination of both buildings. Additionally, Outlaws of the Sands can be recruited at the Watchtower, making it a versatile defensive building to accompany a military base. Livestock is a symbol of wealth and power in many African cultures, making cattle key to all African civilizations' economy. Instead of resource crates, both the Ethiopians and Hausa begin with cattle. Not only do these animals supply a hefty trickle of influence, but can also be exchanged directly for wood and coin at the livestock market, a unique building that both fattens grazing livestock and is able to buy and sell resources. The value of livestock increases over time, and well-fattened animals drive a better price. However, prices decrease temporarily with each sale. Choosing when to make a deal to support your people is an important skill. The African civilizations can also sow fields, small patches of land which yield an infinite supply of food or coin. Fields are free to construct, but have a particularly slow gathering rate and take a notably long time to sow. Their gathering speed can be increased by constructing a granary nearby, which has the extra bonus of luring in nearby animals. Instead of an explorer, the African civilizations begin with the Raz or Amir, powerful leaders whose strength increases through their fealty aura as their allies join them in combat. Each leader has a powerful ability to incite chaos among treasure guardians, causing them to briefly fight each other. And if defeated, African heroes are automatically summoned back to the home city shipment point for free, given enough time. Equipped with a shield, the Javelin Rider is a sturdy ranged cavalry shared between the Ethiopians and Hausa. Like all ranged cavalry, the Javelin Rider is a powerful counter to mounted enemies, but unlike similar units, performs effectively in melee combat too. The new African Royals expansion is available now, and we have plenty more in-depth details about the Ethiopians and the Hausa coming up. Stay tuned.